This video is brought to you by Semyon Bibo. We saw life. We grew. We conquered and innovated. We butchered. The car is on fire. And there's no driver at the wheel. And the sewers are all muddied with a thousand lonely suicides. And a dark wind blows. Life became artificial. An experience substituting what once was. Ecosystems are collapsing, societies are crumbling. The past is still so ever-present and violence never fades. The purpose to it all seems unclear. We're trapped in the belly of this horrible machine. And the machine is bleeding to death. But still, we are growing, adapting reaching towards the future while embracing what went wrong, hoping to learn from the mistakes, hoping to improve, hoping. I said kiss me, you're beautiful. These are truly the last days. You grabbed my hand and we fell into it, like a daydream or a fever. For nearly 25 years, Godspeed You Black Emperor has delivered a mix of pure melancholy and sadness, but also plain optimism in their records. In an interview with self-titled, Ephraim Menuk says the following. I remember me and Dave, one of the guitarists in Godspeed, sitting at this bar and mapping out this thing. We'll start a band with everyone we know, a band of orphans. That's how Godspeed started. That's why it was like 15 people in a drunken mess at its peak. It was this ridiculous idea of playing these songs that were way too long and didn't have words and taking it seriously. This is the blueprint of Godspeed You Black Emperor. Chaos and structure, melancholy and joy. While these words sound like complete opposites of each other, Godspeed You Black Emperor aligns them, binds them together and subsequently works with a nuanced image of reality. It runs through their entire discography, pessimism and hope. The two are entwined in a lifelong dance of attraction and rejection. The way they do it stays consistent. For instance, they use multiple voice samples, such as the one you partially heard in the beginning of this essay. It's part of the opening track from their debut album, F Sharp, A Sharp, Infinity, called The Dead Flag Blues. On the same album you can hear the song String Loop manufactured during downpour, which will leave you in an existential crisis. Musically speaking, pessimism can be heard in a lot of Godspeed You Black Emperor tracks. Take Mladic, for example. Before it was recorded, it was known under the name Albanian, but when Godspeed You Black Emperor ended their hiatus and released Alleluia Don Band Ascend in 2012, the song was named Mladic. Despite the fact that the name clearly refers to one of the most horrendous massacres on a European soil since the Second World War, which in itself is already a pretty obvious pessimistic angle for a song, the track itself is a 20 minute blaze of rage that roars like a sky filled with artillery munition, while the sun is at its peak and inferno becomes reality. Halfway through, the song shifts in tempo and transforms in what I perceive as a confrontation with the futility of the violence. The immorality of it all becomes clear. The end of times is a leading theme in Godspeed You Black Emperor's music. And while a lot of the songs may scream that the end is near, the band always juxtaposes that position. Listen to this voice sample of The Force and Fever, again from their debut album F Sharp A Sharp Infinity. 
the end of the world is coming. The preacher man says it's the end of time. He says that America's rivers are going dry. The interest is up. The stock market's down. But do you think the end of the world is coming? No. So says the preacher man, but I don't go by what he says. But it's also prominent in the live shows. In a lot of cases, they open this set with the Hope Drone. There is no recorded studio version of this song, so it always feels different and it easily shifts into a new form. However, one thing stays constant. At some point, the projector starts flashing the word Hope on screen. But it's muddled with a lot of scratches and it flickers constantly, with no clear indication when the word will stay coherent and stable. Again, this is the DNA of God's Beauty Black Emperor. Life and death, hope and pessimism. And if you want it even more on the nose, a summary of the philosophy can be found in one of the only interviews the band as a whole has given. Thinking about the past and their early years, they say the following, quote, I think a lot of people got wrong about us when we did it the first time. A whole lot of what we were about was joy. We tried to make heavy music joyously. Times were heavy, but the party line was everything was okay. But now we throw more joyous tension in opposition to all of that. Things are not okay. Music should be about things that are not okay, or else it shouldn't exist at all. The best songs ever are the songs that ride that line. The amalgamation of pessimism and hope in God's Beat You Black Emperor's work is audible in the opening track of Lift Your Skinny Fists Like Antennas to Heaven called Storm. The first movement of the track opens with a tender and charming build-up towards a triumphant procession. Abruptly, the track recedes and opens for the second movement, Gathering Storm. A drone, some strings and a guitar are the center point of the new build-up. This one is slow and very careful. The movement then crescendos its way to a climax that I would describe as the personification of how an individual liberates himself from the pressure he endures. The sense of freedom that has been lingering but could not be found. But again, the track unexpectedly stops and makes room for a dramatic shift in tone. But why does the band constantly flirt with this duality? What makes the contrast between hope and pessimism so attractive for God's Beauty Black Emperor? Well, there is a perception of reality that gives birth to a collection of ideas, a yearning for a better world. Quote, it's a true fact. Every day gets a little harder to pretend that everything is okay. The rich keep getting more and we keep getting less. Our cities are broke, they lay patches on top of patches of concrete, our forests got down and sold to make newspapers just to tell us about the traffic that we got stuck in. Through their art and music, Godspeed You Black Emperor communicates their message of political activism. I'm not going to dissect their beliefs right now because I'll keep that for a different video, but it's important to note that Godspeed You Black Emperor is a political band. The artwork of Slow Riot for New Zero Canada features a Molotov cocktail guide. Yankee UXO has falling bombs on the cover and it has a diagram showing how large record labels are connected to multinational companies that support or have ties to the war industry. The same record has a hidden track called George Bush Cut Up While Talking. It features a speech of ex-president George W. Bush Jr. that is contrasted with the constant repeating of the same line. Why am I here? And what can I do to make it better? How can I do what is right? It is the predominant question. Why am I here? 
rich leaders to America can see more than the dominant why am I here? When I went through Godspeed You Black Capper's discography for the first time, I thought of the influence of Stanley Kubrick's Parts of Glory, as the band follows the same pattern of the movie, to share a political belief through the dominating emotions of pessimism and hope. Parts of Glory is an anti-war movie made in the aftermath of both World War I and World War II. In short, the movie is about the top generals who are deflecting blame for a failed suicide mission. They use three innocent men as scapegoats in order to hide their incompetence. Colonel Dax, the commanding officer of the soldiers, defends them in martial courts, but they are sentenced to death. After the execution, Dax is drawn to the screams from within a bar. He spots his men and how they humiliate the German hostage. It's true the little lady has her limitations. As a matter of fact, she has absolutely no talent at all. Except that is, well, maybe a little uh, natural talent. Yeah! Yeah! Dax realizes that the three men who died that day would have sat right there and probably would have shouted in the same uncivilized way. The camera shows the faces of the soldier in rapid succession. Is there anyone innocent in times of war? The movie seems to hint at a clear no. But as soon as the German girl starts to sing, the room becomes silent. Out of nowhere, the soldiers start humming with her. while the camera lingers on their individual faces for a longer time than before. The desensitization of the war stands no chance against the memories of their wives and children, childhoods, their normal lives, their everyday breakfast and walks through the gardens, their bed, their homes. But war doesn't change. Sir? Yes, sir. We want us to move back to the front immediately. Give the man a few minutes more, Sergeant. Yes, sir. Both parts of Glory and Godspeed You Black Emperor make empathic statements on the morality of humanity while simultaneously commenting on the absurdity of human condition, and both do it with a lot of contrarian themes. It's often not really clear what Godspeed You Black Emperor wants to tell us, as the pendulum swings back and forth between a pessimistic worldview and a tender feeling of hope. But so is life, and so is our history. As a species we have done harm, no doubt about it, but at the same time we caused moments of joy and lived through multiple positive transformations. One cannot live without the other. As Godspeed You Black Emperor puts it, For us, every tune started with the blues, but pointed to heaven near the end. Because how could you find heaven without acknowledging current blues, right? Ultimately, what Godspeed You Black Emperor and Parts of Glory are telling us is that we should not forget to return to basic human decency. We should hope. <laughs>